Hey, good morning, guys. George Demanian here, and just wanted to share a little uh, uh, quick inspiration for your day with you. I was just got done reading this book called The Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Bouchard. Incredible book. Um, if you're looking for your next book to read, definitely check out The Motivation Manifesto. It's an awesome book. Um, but anyways, this morning what he was talking about was about the seven deadly temptations that people just succumb to that hold them back from success in different areas of their life. And it was interesting because one of the most interesting of the temptations that holds people back was that of the temptation of disappointment. And see, disappointment is natural. I mean, say I put out this video and everybody dislikes it and they, you know, they, they put bad comments out and things like that. Uh, you know, for me to feel disappointed, that's that could, that's natural. You know, if you know if, if if you you know like a girl or a guy and they don't like you back, I mean, it's natural to. You know, to feel disappointment. Disappointment, you know, is a, is a natural feeling. But the temptation of disappointment is the temptation to, to quit when you feel disappointment. How you respond to that situation of feeling disappointed. And what happens is people become addicted to disappointment. So, say for example, you know, you're a... You know, you're embarking on a on a new you know in journey or something like that, a new business. You know, your first time entrepreneur or something like that, and you don't succeed just as quickly as you thought you would. You would, then it's natural to feel disappointed. You know, if you thought you were going to be making ten thousand dollars a month within the first three three months or something like that, and that didn't happen for you, you may feel disappointed naturally. But the the temptation of disappointment is to let that overcome you and to use that as an excuse to quit, to allow that to validate and justify the reason to quit and to go back to your old lifestyle. That's where it really, that's where that temptation of disappointment gets you. See, feeling disappointment is natural, but it's how you respond to that disappointment that makes the difference. So say for example, you know, uh, you know, I, I put out this video again and, and you know, nobody likes it and, and I can feel disappointed. I could say, you know what, I'm done. I'm never putting out another video again. Or I can say, you know what, what can I learn from that and how can I let it go and then get better on the next one? That's the proper way to deal with, with disappointment as discussed in the Motivation Manifesto. So just, um, you know, a quick little insight to your day. If you feel disappointed about something, don't worry about it because in fact, the, you know, the, if you're not taking any risk with your life, if you're not taking any significant risks, that's really the only way to dis to you know to avoid disappointment altogether. But if you are feeling disappointment, that's a good thing because that means that you actually are taking risk. You're putting your ego out there on the line, and there's you know you're taking significant risk in different areas of your life. So know that that's a good thing if you're feeling disappointment. Embrace it. But just know that it's how you deal with it. It's what you do after you feel that disappointment that matters next. Don't give in to the temptation of disappointment, which is going to want to lead you to quit and to go back to you know what you're familiar with and comfortable with, you know, being your old lifestyle. Go in the opposite direction of learning how you can learn from whatever it is you're disappointed about. Let it go and then move forward. I hope this helped. I hope you guys have a, an awesome, inspirational day. And until leave some comments. Um, I always, you know, love feedback and so forth, and I'll make sure to catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day. See ya.